I'd like to wrap up this communication tools unit by bringing us back to the beginning and reminding us of something I said back at the beginning, which was that each of these tools is very effective and powerful in its own self. However, their power, when used in conjunction with one another, is compounded and enhanced. And this is, uh, uh, this is something that I'd like you to consider to take out in practice. So you start off by practicing with them one at a time, you start off by practicing listening. But if you can use two or maybe even three of them in conjunction with one another, you can have a very, very powerful impact and at some point begin to lead the negotiation conversations that you have. I'd like to show you a demonstration of how using all five communication tools that we've learned in this unit, using all five of them together in a negotiation conversation can have powerful effect on where the conversation ends up going. And in order to do that, I'm going to invite you into my class at the Warner Institute at Creighton University, where I'm holding a conversation with Joan Sabat, who is a teacher at the Warner Institute, uh, and she's agreed to have a conversation to me about something that concerns her a lot. Apparently, um, my kid has beat her kid up at school, and she is not happy about that at all, and she's come over to make sure that I do something that she finds very important on that topic, uh, and I want to do something else. So we're about to negotiate about how I will treat my kid. Obviously, that's a hot-button topic for any parent. Uh, it's a hot-button topic for her, it's a hot-button topic for me, so this is a fairly heated scenario. But still, what I'm going to demonstrate in this scenario is moving through all five of these communication tools in a sequence. First, listening, then reflecting, reframing, using an I message to state my opinion of things, and then using a question to bat the ball over the net. And let's see what that looks like in a semi-real scenario. Over these past few sessions, we've learned um, a, a bunch of communication tools and we've learned how to use them, and mainly what we've learned how to use is how to use them separately. In other words, we've learned, well, we've learned them all individually, mm -hmm. and we've practiced them in our minds all individually. And now, at the end, I want to just kind of plant in your minds the notion that <clears throat> if you can manage to use more than one of them at one time, you can up their oomph. I mean, they're all powerful, each, each and every one of them in, in their own right, but if you can manage to use more than one of them at a time, together well, you compound their effect or more. Um, this is, this is kind of tricky. I mean, this is like fifth year at Hogwarts stuff. I mean, this is trying to be able to really use them all together is, is, uh, is tricky, but you, can, you, but you practice by using you know, two at a time. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to demonstrate, and, and I've asked Joan to demonstrate with me, and we'll, we'll see, we'll riff something and see if it works. Uh, uh, you, you be, you Very be, rough you be angry mom, and I'll be the guy who's practicing this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Okay. Um, so I start. Um, and uh, a, a, a scenario made up more or less on the spot. Uh, we've heard that our children had a fight of some sort at school today. Joan thinks that uh, uh, my no, son. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joan. Joan understands. That, uh, that my son has beat her son up or pounded on him in general. Um, I don't know exactly what happened. That we haven't heard details. We haven't had anything. Joan, let's say, I'm Joan, I'm going to make up your interest. You want to, well, basically, you want me, you want me to something. You want me to whoop my son. You want me to take care of my son. You want me to discipline. You want, you want to make sure this is taken care of and seriously. Um, and my goal in this situation, which I'll, I'll set for myself, my goal will be to, to calm the situation time down and uh, get some time to learn what happened and then decide what to do. <coughs> okay? And that's, that's, that's where we'll take it. And the way we'll do it is, you know, this, so this negotiation, in, which in essence is kind of a negotiation over action versus time, um, will be done with kind of reference throughout going through the five stages and Follow along, and you'll see what this. Joan, you wanna you wanna kick us off? So, Noam, you're a kid. Uh, I, I don't know what you're gonna do about your kid, but uh, on the school grounds today, I'm not I'm not sure if you pay attention to your children. But my uh, kid came home with a black eye, and your kid did it. What are you gonna do about it? 
So uh, if I understand you correctly, you're saying Johnny came home with a black eye, and and you think that Tommy did it, and obviously you know this is this this bothers you a lot, and I can say of course taking care of your kid is very very important to you. Absolutely. And I, I just want to make sure that we know all the details before we jump the gun and do anything on this. So I just want to know: can we wait till we hear from the school principals and school teachers? Then we'll take care of this. I don't know if that's necessarily the strategy I'd go with. I believe my son, mm -hmm. and he told me exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. They were he was innocently playing on the on the school grounds, and your son just came over and walloped him and mm -hmm. said, y "You're a cheater," and then ran off. And mm -hmm. That was the end of it. So, so you're black saying eye, you have my a, kid. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you're saying you have a clear picture of what happened. I mean, based on what your son told you, my son came over and walloped him, called him a cheater. Yes. Game of black eye apparently, and and, uh, and uh, you know that sounds like something. I mean, he's a real jerk. Your kid, my kid. Yes. Okay. So, and you feel that my kid is a real jerk. Oh, no, clearly you're angry. No, at, I know clearly he's a jerk. you're yes. angry at, at, at my son and at me, and, and I get that. And, and of course, oh, and lots of other parents are mad too. And they think he's a jerk. Mm -hmm. they know. <laughs> he's a jerk. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. Keep I, refraining I me. I understand. No, and I I, I, I also understand. I also understand that, you know, our kids are out there, they're out there in the world, and we, we can't protect them, and it makes us even a lot more anxious. Well, that's so we not want to what take this is care about. of things as soon as we can. Yeah, and absolutely. That's what I'm hearing you. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and I, I, I want you to know that I, will, I also want to make sure that if my kid has done something wrong, I want to make sure that that's taken Good. care of. I also want to make sure we're taking care of the right thing and that we don't jump the gun. And that's the reason that I'm suggesting that we take care of this soon, but not right now. Do you want me to bend Go. and break now? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I, do you I'll, agree with me? I'll, I'm willing to go and talk with school administrators if and only if you will punish your son in an appropriate way. Mm -hmm. Your little jerk in an appropriate way. <laughs> so, so you want to make sure that I punish my little jerk in an appropriate way, and that you. But, but more to the point, you want you want to make sure that if, if my son did something wrong, he gets what's coming to him. And, and uh, uh, assuming that that will happen, you're willing to come and, and hear out school administrators or teachers or whoever was involved, just so we can figure out what was going on, matching the punishment to the crime, making sure that the right kid gets what's coming to him and that everything yes. gets done right only is the, important. Only then, yes. And I, therefore, I, I want to say, first of all, that I appreciate your saying that to me. And obviously, look, I want to be a good parent and I want to raise a good child. Okay, and no kid of mine will beat up some other uh, uh, mother's kid Good. and get away with it. So I certainly promise you that if I anything happens, I feel so happened, much better than I'll take care of it. Are we good? Happen. We are good. Okay. okay. Now, I know. <laughs> what I think did happen, and this is not a rehearsed piece. Okay, what what did happen is that if I had just listened and nodded or listened, you know, if I just used one of these. Mm -hmm. Or if I jump straight to my iMessage and say, well, I want to tell you what's important to me, um, a different conversation would have happened. And something that did happen in this conversation, I'm kind of surprised that it happened, but that's because the power of this stuff surprises me as well, is that what happened in this conversation is that a real change was achieved in the negotiation between me and Joan. Now, you might say, well, what happened here was a kind of a win-win negotiation. I mean, everybody got what they want, right? Um... Maybe. I, I don't know, and, and you know, at the moment, that's not what's on my mind. What's on my mind is, uh, is that I got what I wanted. Uh, and, and I think, uh, uh, you know, Joan can do the math for herself, whether it's exactly that. But I think that what this demonstrated is that this as a sequence has the power to take a conversation from one place and channel it towards quite a different conversation. Did, did you see that? You see that happening? Um, so, uh, go out and practice. <laughs> and I, 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 Try two at one. Go, go. We have to be artful about how we, how we use these because we, <laughs> if they, if we only use one, people are. <laughs> People are smart. People are smart, right? And it That's feels unnatural. Right. It feels so unnatural. <laughs> what he was right. doing felt conversational. Right. And, the and I'm a horrible role player, and it yeah. felt conversational. <laughs> we can talk. The challenge. <laughs> but, but just pre just go the next step challenge, okay? <laughs> How do I reflect that? <laughs> the next step challenge is two at a time, okay? okay. Practice two at a time. Go, folks. 
to be honest, even though I've been using uh, uh, these communication tools, in particular this communication sequence uh, in negotiations for years, I'm always kind of stunned by the power that they have when they're used um, in conjunction with uh, one another and sequence with one another. So start off by practicing each of them individually and then see if you might be able to put them together. And when you are able to do a uh, 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 first one at a time and then several of them together in real life negotiation situations, then the amount of time that you've just spent in this unit uh, together with me will seem like a very, very small price to pay for the gains that I'm sure that these will make for you. Good luck on that.